House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Thursday that Democrats will continue their fight for President Trump's tax returns even if Joseph Biden wins the White House in November. Pelosi said Ways and Means Committee Chairman Richard Neal, Massachusetts Democrat will request the records from whomever Biden taps to be Treasury Secretary. The California Democrat told reporters. Richie Neal has been completely strong and tough-minded on this. We are at the mercy of the courts. In fact, when we win this election and we have a new President of the United States in January and we have a new Secretary of the Treasury and Richie Neal asks for the President's tax returns, we will see what the President has been hiding all this time. Democrats have been fighting in the courts for months to secure the President's tax returns. Last week, a federal judge dismissed the president's attempt to halt a subpoena from Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance to access his personal tax returns. Back in July, the Supreme Court ruled President Trump's personal documents could be subpoenaed in a criminal probe, but did not extend that authority to congressional subpoenas. The high court remanded the case back to the lower court for further review, but a result is not likely to come until after the November election. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Thursday doubled down on her insistence that White House negotiators move their top line numbers if there's going to be any hope of reaching a comprehensive relief deal. She said, We're not budging. They have to move. Why should there be a bill that has far less than what the public needs? They're just going to have to come up with more money. They're coming in with an eyedropper. Democrats want Republicans to agree to middle ground figures between their $3.5 trillion proposal and the GOP's $1 trillion plan. Her comments come not long before the Speaker is set to chat with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, who she referred to as, what's his name, Thursday afternoon. Pelosi said the talk is just a courtesy of returning Mr. Meadows' call. She said, that would be a very short conversation if they're not ready to meet in the middle. Hopefully, it isn't. She also brushed off the chief of staff's significance to the talks by saying that he wasn't the lead negotiator, such as Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, who worked on all the other corona spending deals that Congress passed earlier this year. It would be the first time party negotiators discussed a larger bill since early August after talks broke down. Pelosi said the talks failed because Republicans wouldn't agree to a larger price tag while Mr. Mnuchin said it was because they couldn't get Democrats to offer a meaningful proposal on state and local funding or enhanced unemployment insurance. Mr. Meadows attempted to have a walk-in meeting with Pelosi Saturday during the House's vote on a postal service bill but was unable to get a hold of her. The two sparred via the press that day as he called for a skinny package that would include post office funding along with small business loans and unemployment insurance. Mrs. Pelosi said that suggestion was deficient because it left out food security and school funding.